today I'm going to install the uh, 480 gigabyte M SATA from my digital to the 32 gig originally from HP on my NV 41117NR. So I'm going to use this to install El Capitan on it and do a boot so that I can use the whole one terabyte with Windows and uh, data. The first thing we need to do is to fix the EFI original boot. Our Capitan 10.11.5 F9. So we're going to select the uh, sand disk. Now we're going to boot from base 115 right. okay so let's do the disk utility. So right here, BP4 M SATA SSD, 480 gig. So let's to erase and this one's gonna be SS SSD Mac okay it's done so close it Continue, continue, agree. Let's look at the customization. Accept. Wow, it's only take 13 minutes for the SSD. That's pretty good. So, the El Capitan is fully installed on this uh, SSD M SATA. So, we're going to do the speed test to see how fast it is to read and write. So, it does look like it reads right at a uh, high is 400, so which is okay. How about reliability? We don't know. Okay, so important thing with any SSD we install in the system, especially with El Capitan, is natively supported. Uh, so make sure the trim support is enabled. 
so we don't need to do anything with the clover just go into the terminal and type sudo trim force enable and then after that they're gonna ask you you know they're gonna warn you it's gonna lose your data or whatever just say yes and it will reboot and then your trim force will be enabled supported for your SSD let's see how fast it will boot okay it is dual actually triple boot so now boot Mac OS from SSD 115 so these are the uh, mSATA boot Okay, now let's do boot from the one terabyte hard drive. Alright, so the other one will be NV111. Okay, that was the old one I have in there. So this is from the hard drive. A little slower. A lot slower. Okay, so since this one is dual booting, we're going to boot to Windows 10. Now, I'm using Clover 3320. That's the most stable one. So don't, you can update to whatever. So we have to boot from system. That is a new EFI. So let's see how window is loading. Okay, so that's it. Reboot. Let's try the other one again. Not even Windows restarting, it takes forever. We default to SD one one five supposedly. Now let's do. Ta -da. Now that is fast. 